Hi everyone, I think we're all a little bit tired of exaggerated marketing when products claim to be all singing, all dancing, are gonna cure absolutely everything on your skin. You've tried it out for three months and it's done absolutely nothing. Well, in this video today, we are gonna be talking about another five anti-aging products that actually work. So I talked about some of the self-explanatory products in a previous video, you know, vitamin A, so retinols, retinoids in general, tretinoin, SPF, microcurrent, I think I touched on vitamin C. We're not going to talk about those in this video, but we are going to talk about those products that will help prevent wrinkles from coming and those products that will help to soften any wrinkles on your face that you already have. So let's get on with it. If you're new here, hi, my name's Gemma. I upload new content on YouTube every single week. I would absolutely love it. If you're finding this video helpful or entertaining, please consider clicking on that subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell. So in my opinion, there are three different types of wrinkles that we can have on our face and on our bodies. Now, I think if you looked in a textbook, they would probably classify it as two different types of wrinkles, but I'm gonna go one further. So the first type of wrinkle I want to talk about are those creasing wrinkles. These are the wrinkles that we tend to cause ourselves by either laying a certain way, putting pressure on the skin and allowing it to crease, which then forms a wrinkle. Whether you are laying on a pillow, whether you are holding yourself in a specific position throughout the day which causes pressure on the face or on the body creating that wrinkle. My mum used to suffer with creasing wrinkles as a child. She didn't have a pair of glasses that actually were her proper prescription so she used to pull the corner of her eye to aid her vision and that caused creasing which wasn't caused by a muscle it was caused by her physical action which then created wrinkles over time. So that's the first one I want to talk about, creasing wrinkles. The second one, dynamic wrinkles. These are the wrinkles that are caused by muscular movement underneath the skin. So the muscles move, your skin moves, and over time, that repetitive muscle movement creates a wrinkle, which disappears when the muscle stops contracting. The third type of wrinkle are those static wrinkles. So the more we create dynamic wrinkles over time, those dynamic wrinkles don't disappear. The muscle contracts, the muscle releases, the wrinkle stays where it is because we've made that movement so many times, the skin just cannot heal itself over and over again and you get a line that does not budge off the skin. So, creasing wrinkles, dynamic wrinkles, static wrinkles. And over time, whether it is a creasing wrinkle or whether it is a dynamic wrinkle, if you do that movement often enough, it will cause a static wrinkle over time. So firstly, I want to talk about preventing those creasing wrinkles. And to do that, you need to completely change your crease causing habits. We all have them. If you do sit like this whilst you're at work or whilst you're looking at your phone or your computer, you need to stop doing that. And whilst you're awake, it's quite easy to catch yourself doing it, give yourself a little tap, change positions so that you're not applying pressure to the skin because this pressure can not only cause those creases but it can also cause puffiness and just inflammation in general. While you're asleep, however, it's slightly more difficult to wake yourself up when you're doing one of these habits. And that's where the Sleep and Glow pillow comes in. I'm so, so happy to tell you that Sleep and Glow have agreed to sponsor this video today. I've spoken about the Sleep and Glow pillow several times on my channel previously. Some have been sponsored, some haven't. I've used the Sleep and Glow pillow for a good couple of years now and it has revolutionized my sleep. So I am a side sleeper and before I had the Sleep and Glow pillow, my skin was heavily compressed into my pillow, especially if I was within a deep sleep. And I woke up in the morning and I had crease lines down my face, which when I was younger, wasn't so much of a big issue, but the older I get, the longer these creases stay in my skin. And the more often I'm getting these creases, the more chance I've got of those creases turning into static wrinkles and never going away. So when I got the Sleep and Glow pillow, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't have high hopes. I thought, how is a pillow going to help me out with these creases down my face, with the puffiness that I'm waking up with in the morning? But I was completely blown away I was wrong to ever doubt, shame on me. So 
The Sleep and Glow pillow is a 3D designed pillow. So it has little cutouts on either side for your face if you are a side sleeper, but it also has an indentation in the middle. So if you are a back sleeper, you can be supported in the correct position and get a really good night's sleep if you do sleep on your back. Me, sleeping on my side, this helps me in numerous ways. So I am supported, I'm getting a lot less shoulder pain, neck pain, back pain in the morning because these are designed by orthopedists so they're all really well manufactured and really well designed. But the main reason that I love it is because if you are a side sleeper like me, your face is supported whilst not touching the pillow at all. And if it's not touching the pillow at all, it means that you cannot crease your skin, you cannot create that pressure because your skin is not compressed into the fabric. So you wake up in the morning looking way fresher, no puffiness, no creases down your skin. Those creases, because they're non-existent, can't change into static wrinkles over time because they're just not there to begin with. So that is my way of preventing creasing wrinkles and believe me, it definitely does work. Over time, when you've been using the pillow for quite some time, you don't realize the effects that it actually has on your life until you stop using it. I didn't take the pillow with me on holiday to Dubai when I went earlier on in the year with my family and I seriously regretted it. I woke up in the morning and did not recognize myself. Anyway, a lesson learned. <laughs> <laughs> if you are thinking about trying the Sleep and Glow pillow, I'll put a link for you in the description box. If you click on that, it will take you straight through to the Sleep and Glow website where you can get a bit more info to help you make your mind up whether you want to press that buy button or not. They do a 30 day sleep trial. So if you buy it, if you don't like it within the 30 days, you can send it back for your money back. So it's a win-win situation at the end of the day. I think they also have a sale on at the moment, which is 15% off, so bonus. <laughs> okay, let's move on and talk about how to prevent dynamic wrinkles, which in turn turn into static wrinkles over time. So dynamic wrinkles, again, are those wrinkles that are caused by muscular movement. When the muscle contracts, the wrinkles appear. When the muscle relaxes, the wrinkles go. But over time, the more repetitive you are with those muscular movements, the longer those wrinkles take to fade away and they eventually don't fade away at all and turn into static wrinkles. So those crow's feet, elevenses, forehead lines are the main areas that you get dynamic wrinkles and static wrinkles. You also get those dynamic and static wrinkles above the lips if you blow kisses quite a lot. I'm not judging. You can get those vertical lines above the top lip, little smile lines at the corners of the mouth, which are incredibly difficult to treat and soften. So I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't talk about Botox within this video because it works. It's proven to work. And although it is quite a pricey treatment, you are gonna get the best bang for your buck with Botox. It works, it works quickly, and it pretty consistently works over a three to six month time frame. So you are going to need top-ups throughout the year every three to six months. So Botox or botulinum toxin is a neuromodulator which relaxes the muscle preventing those dynamic wrinkles by blocking the nerves that send the messages to the muscles to tell them to contract. It can take a little time to see the results of your Botox, but usually it's pretty quick. So generally after two weeks, you will see the full effects. The results you want to achieve can also be tweaked. So the more you want the muscle to be relaxed, the more Botox you have injected. The more movement you want your face to still have, the less Botox you have injected. I like to go somewhere in the middle. I do like to completely stop those dynamic wrinkles and those static wrinkles from turning up later on down the line, but I also don't want to have a completely frozen face. I've made that mistake in the past where I've had far too much injected. My skin has looked completely frozen and when your skin is frozen, it looks semi-plastic. It looks rather unnatural. So I like to have enough injected that stops those dynamic wrinkles but a little less than having a completely frozen expression on my face. I still like to be able to smile. I still like people to know if I'm annoyed. I'm talking about Wes. <laughs> 
<laughs> there is nothing worse than being surprised and having to tell somebody I am surprised. <laughs> so Botox definitely does work but it is rather pricey. So if it's completely out of your budget or you just don't want to have something injected into your skin, then there is another alternative for you. It's not as effective, but over time you will get similar results. I'm talking about Argeroline. Now, for me, this is the next best thing to Botox. It's named Botox in a bottle. I would completely and utterly dispute that because you're not going to get the results as quick as you are with Botox. They're also not going to be as severe. So I guess over time, this is like having the tiniest little bit of Botox injected into the skin. You're not gonna get a complete wipe out of all your wrinkles like is achievable with Botox. But again, it is the next best thing and it is inexpensive. If you use this every single day, you are going to see results. So this one is from The Ordinary. The Ordinary has quite a few formulas with Argeroline in. I know Buffet is one of those formulas. By the way, Buffet is changing its name soon. It is not being reformulated. It is just having a different name. Just thought I'd get that out there straight away before anybody starts asking me questions because it is a little bit confusing why they are changing the name, but there we go, they are. It's gonna be the same formula. And it does have a little bit of Argeroline within the Buffet formula, but nowhere near the strength of the Argeroline serum standalone. So uh, this is the one that I would go for. It's absolutely amazing. Now, Argeroline, again, works in a similar way as Botox. It interferes with the protein receptor complexes, which helps to cause muscle movement, which inhibits the nerves talking to the muscles to tell them to move and contract. Over time, you are going to get similar results. You will see those forehead wrinkles, those elevenses, those crow's feet start to soften over time. And as you are smiling, they will become less and less evident. Now, Argeroline, I would recommend that you use in conjunction with Matrixyl, which is another peptide serum from The Ordinary. Both of these are peptides, but whereas the Argeroline I would just apply to those areas that are susceptible to those dynamic wrinkles. Forehead, elevenses, crow's feet, top of the lip if you want to, I would then apply the Matrixyl all over the rest of my skin. With these both being peptide serums, you allow the Argeroline to get on with what it does best, really relaxing those muscles and the Matrixyl building that collagen production. So whilst those muscles are relaxed, really help to stimulate that collagen production, plumping up the skin, hydrating the skin, and just making it glow and look more youthful. Both of these together are a superhero complex. Absolutely amazing. So if you already have some static wrinkles, how can we soften those static wrinkles? The next couple of products truly and utterly work in an anti-aging capacity. The first one I want to talk about is niacinamide. The one that I'm using at the moment is from Beauty Pie. These are the super drops, brightening and oxygenating, but I love the one from The Ordinary as well. And I was using that for years prior to loving this one. My mum uses the one from The Ordinary and absolutely swears by it. So why is niacinamide or vitamin B3 such a good anti-aging ingredient? Well, first and foremost, it's a great antioxidant. So it will help prevent any free radical damage to the skin, which can break down the cell structure over time. It's also a great anti-inflammatory, so it can reduce redness on the skin. And it's also great at brightening the skin, reducing that hyperpigmentation, or pigmentation or age spots that you have on your skin that are caused by sun damage over time. Also, it will help to regulate your oil production without drying the skin. But the main reason that I use it, the one that I just think it is absolutely amazing at, is its ability 
to look after the skin barrier. And if your skin barrier can work in a healthy way, it helps to retain any moisture that you allow into the skin, preventing any transepidermal water loss. And within time, it helps to smooth the skin's surface as well, allowing your pores to look less open, less large, and really smoothing that skin, decreasing your skin texture, tenfold. It is my mum's favourite ingredient hands down. She cannot be without her niacinamide. Now The Ordinary did a clinical trial with 35 volunteers. These volunteers found a difference in their skin in only seven days. Because niacinamide is so great at reinforcing the skin barrier, these volunteers found that their skins were much plumper and more hydrated. I just think seven days? seven days? After eight weeks, they found a difference in the smoothness of their skin texture. Eight weeks. Proves it works. Moving on to the final anti-aging product that is proven to work. This is the one that I'm most excited about. I need to contain myself. So to use this product to the best of its ability, you need to use it alongside an LED device, whether that be an LED mask, LED neck and deck perfecter, LED panel. This is the product that you need to be using alongside your LED devices because there's been talk for a long, long time that by using a really powerful antioxidant serum alongside your LED devices will increase the efficacy and speed up the results of your LED devices. Namely, the best ones to use are the green tea products. The one that I'm gonna recommend is from Maysama. This is the Green Ruibos uh, Pressed Serum. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. Am I pronouncing that right? I have no idea. This is the one that I recommend. This is the only green tea serum that is claims tested for the use with LED devices. So Maysama teamed up with uh, Mito Red Light and they conducted a series of tests to test out the theory that green tea serum boosts your results from LED devices. They used an independent lab, 16 volunteers, all aged between 27 and 65, and the results have blown me away. I am gonna talk you through the results in just a second, but before I do, let's just talk about the benefits of LED devices. So LED will reduce erythema, which is skin redness. It will reduce inflammation. It will reduce any pigmentation on the surface of the skin, and it will increase suppleness and elasticity. So the rules of the study were that the green tea serum was applied to half of the face 15 minutes before a 10 minute LED treatment. So the LED treatment was applied to both sides of the face, but only one half of the face had the green tea serum on. So the data confirms beyond doubt that the green tea serum enhanced the skin's rejuvenation an average of 2.6 times faster than just using LED alone. If you look at the results from the independent lab, they show an increase in elasticity of 55% rather than the 25 increase in elasticity just from LED alone. And wrinkles were reduced by 29% rather than the 10% reduction by just using LED alone. These are just out of this world results from an independent lab. This absolutely amazing and I will never do an LED treatment without this in future. It's a great product anyway, even if you don't have an LED device, it's an amazing antioxidant, but with LED combined, Wow. So that's it for this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. They are five more anti-aging products that are proven to work. And just a short disclaimer, just because I've spoken about Botox in this video does not mean I am the new advocate that everybody should run out and go and get Botox immediately. Botox is a personal decision. I am not judging anybody if they have it, because I have a little bit here and there, but I'm also not gonna judge anybody who decides that it's not gonna be right for them. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will link the previous video that I did over here so you can watch that now if you haven't seen that already. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.